So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Let us discuss about addition and subtraction of radicals. In addition and subtraction of radicals, we can only add or subtract if the index and radicand are the same. And root of x, so this is the radicand. So while here, n, that is the index. So we can only add or subtract if the index and radicand are the same. In the given example, that is 4 cube root of 5 plus 2 cube root of 5, we have the same index, that is 3, and same radicand, that is 5. So cube root of 5 are the same. So we can combine now, we can add. So that becomes the quantity copy 4 plus 2. And then we have the same index and same radicand, that is the cube root of 5. 4 plus 2, the answer is equal to 6, and then copy cube root of 5. So 6 cube root of 5. In example number 1, 11 square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 3. Both of them have the same index and same radicand. So it means that is equal to 11 minus 2. And then square root of 3, let us copy. 11 minus 2, the answer is 9, subtract. And then copy the radicals, that is the square root of 3. So 9 square root of 3. How about number 2? 8 cube root of 2 minus 12 cube root of 2. We have the same index and radical. So first we need to combine. So copy 8, copy negative 12, and then copy cube root of 2. So 8 minus 12 as you can see, 8 minus 12 subtract can be the sign of negative 12. So that becomes negative 4 and then copy cube root of 2. So negative 4 cube root of 2. How about number 3? a square root of 5 plus 2a square root of 5 minus 7a square root of 5. As you can see, we have the same index and same radical. Okay, so right now we can combine. So the quantity a plus 2a minus 7a and then copy the square root of 5. 1a plus 2a minus 7. 1 plus 2 is 3. Minus 7, that is equal to negative 4. Copy the variable a and then copy the radical square root of 5. In number 4, 3 square root of 7 minus 4 square root of 7 plus 2 square root of 7 minus 10 square root of 7. Both of them have the same index and same radical. So right now, let us write the quantity 3 minus 4 plus 2 minus 10 and then copy all the radical that is equal to square root of 7. So 3 minus 4 is negative 1, subtract. Negative 1 plus 2, subtract, that is 1. 1 minus 10, subtract, that is negative 9. And then copy the radical, that is the square root of 7. So negative 9, square root of 7. How about number 5? 13 square root of 2. Minus 4 square root of 7 plus 2 square root of 2 plus 10 square root of 7. First, we need to identify the index. So, tama naman lahat yung index. But then, how about the radical? So, we have 2 radical that is 2 and 7. You cannot combine 2 and then 7. So, the only we can combine is 13 square root of 2 and then plus 2 square root of 2. So, that becomes 13 plus 2 and then copy the radical that is square root of Another one that we need to combine is negative 4. So the quantity negative 4 plus 10 and then copy the radical that is equal to square root of 7. So 13 plus 2 that is 15 copy square root of 2. Negative 4 plus 10 subtract 
copy the sine of 10 that is positive 6 square root of 7. So the final answer is 15 square root of 2 plus 6 square root of 7. How about number 6? Square root of 12 plus 9 square root of 3. Let us identify the index are the same, but the radicand is not the same. First, we need to simplify 12. To be able to simplify 12, as you can see, we have 3 here. So it means one of the factors of 12 is 3. So it means that is equal to 3 times 4 or 4 times 3. Copy plus 9 square root of 3. And then the square root of 4 that is exactly equal to 2. We have no exact square root of 3, so let us copy. Copy positive 9 square root of 3. Right now, we can combine now 2 square root of 3 plus 9 square root of 3 because we have same index and same radical. So right now, that becomes 2 plus 9, that is 11. And copy the radical, that is equal to the square root of 3. Final answer, 11 square root of 3. In example number 7, 6 square root of 28 plus 5 square root of 7. We have same index, but we have different radicand. So first, we need to find the factor of 28 having the perfect square and make it sure that one of the factors is 7. So that is copy 6. The factor of 28 that is perfect is 4. Multiply it with 7 plus 5 square root of 7. So both of them, the radicon having 7. So let us see if we have same index and same radicon to be able to add this given. So first, we need to copy 6. Square root of 4 is exactly 2. Square root of 7, there is no exact value. This is not perfect, so copy square root of 7. And then copy plus 5 square root of 7. 6 times 2, the answer is 12. Copy square root of 7. Copy 5 square root of 7. We can combine now 12 plus 5. The answer is equal to 17. And then copy the radicon and the index that is square root of 7. 17 square root of 7. In number 8, 8 square root of 45 plus 2 square root of 5. First, we need to get the factor of 45 having the perfect square. Make it sure one of the factor is 5. So first, copy 8. After copying 8, the factor of 45 having the perfect square and have 5, that is 9 times 5. And then copy plus 2 square root of 5. So bring down 8. And then the square root of 9, that is exactly equal to 3. And we have no square root of 5. Square root of 5, that is not perfect. And then copy plus 2, square root of 5. 8 times 3, let us multiply. That becomes 24, square root of 5. And then copy plus 2, square root of 5. So let us add 24 plus 2, that is equal to 26. And then copy square root of 5. So 26, is square root of 5. We can combine because we have same index and same radical. How about number 9? 12 square root of 90 plus 2 square root of 160. So first, we need to copy 12 and then think a factor of 90 having the perfect square. So that is the square root of 9 times 10. And then plus 2, think a factor of 160 having the perfect square. So that is 16 times 10. As you can see, one of the factor is 10. So we have the same radical. So let us simplify. So bring down 12 and then the square root of 9 that is exactly equal to 3 is square root of 10. This is not perfect. Let us copy plus 2. And then the square root of 16 that is exactly equal to 4. We have no perfect square for square root of 10. So let us copy. Let us multiply 12 times 3. 12 times 3, that is equal to 36, and then copy square root of 10. 2 times 4, that is equal to 8, and then copy square root of 10. Right now, we have same index and same radicand, that is 10. So we may simplify now. So 36 plus 8, let us add. So 36 plus 8, that answer is equal to 44, and then copy 
the radicand and the index that is the square root of 10. So the final answer is 44 square root of 10. How about if the given is complicated like 7 square root of 98x plus 5 square root of 32x minus 2 square root of 50x? So let us start with 7. Copy 7. Think a factor of 98 having the perfect square. So that is equal to 49 times 2 and then copy the variable x. And then copy plus 5. Think a factor of 32 having the perfect square. That is 16. So 16 times 2x. So as you can see, we have the same radicand, that is 2x. Next is negative 2 square root of 50x. So negative 2. The factor of 50x having the perfect square, that is 25 times 2x. So as you can see in the parentheses of the radical, we have same radicand, that is 2x. So let us simplify. Copy 7. Square root of 49, that is exactly 7. So square root of 2, that is not perfect, so copy square root of 2 also with x. Plus 5, square root of 16 is exactly equal to 4. Square root of 2, this is not perfect, so let us copy, same with x. Minus 2, square root of 25, that is exactly 5, and then copy the square root of 2x. 7 times 7, let us multiply, that is 49. Copy square root of 2x. 5 times 4, let us multiply, 20, copy, square root of 2x. Negative 2 times 5, the answer is negative 10, copy, square root of 2x. So let us simplify now. So to be able to simplify, that becomes 49 plus 20 minus 10. And then we have the same index and radicand, that is the square root of 2x. So 49 plus 20 is 69 minus 10. The answer is equal to 59 and then copy the radicand and the index that is the square root of 2x. So the final answer is 59 square root of 2x. Instruction Perform the indicated operation and express your answer in simplest form. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.